Hi, everybody. It's Wednesday early afternoon. It's meteorologist Matt Wins for Region Weather. We've got lake effect snow that continues across the region. We've got your update here as we go throughout the rest of the day into the overnight. So this is a look at the current radar here over the last couple hours up to current. We're sitting about 1.30 in the afternoon. We had that main band that moved through with the squalls this morning. We had a decent band that started to set up in areas of Lake County. You can see it here starting to fade. This is that secondary band that we were talking about developing at least the potential for it got going a little bit earlier but this will go for a little bit longer you can see kind of the back edge of the cutoff here up towards milwaukee this moisture will continue to kind of support this band in the areas of porter and laporte county it's not that well organized but it's still snowing outside this will eventually start to come to an end and we're going to focus on this main band of very heavy snow affecting areas like New Bar or Berrien County, New Buffalo, heading up towards the Kalamazoo area, Grand Rapids getting some good snow as well. This band stretches into South Bend. This is the one to watch. This is the one that's going to lay down a ton of snow. We'll likely see some snow continue outside of that, but this is the big one that we're going to watch kind of move back towards the west, affecting maybe LaPorte County later today. So let's take a look at the afternoon model runs. You can see how the snow continues. It becomes a little bit more organized with just one main band later this evening into tonight. That's going to be the big show outside of it. We will have some snow shower activity, but it will get increasingly heavier as you get out towards the east. LaPorte County could be the center of the action later on this afternoon into the evening. That band would continue as we go throughout the day on Thursday before finally winding down. Look at some of these snowfall totals, though. These continue to impress where there are amounts that get over two feet of snow where that band persists. The HER is especially poignant. I'm putting it in LaPorte and Stark counties. Other models have it further east. You can see the NAM Nest has it much further east. So still some discrepancy on that, but that's what we're gonna continue to watch is where does that set up? One of my favorite models to use in this setup is the National Blend. And you can see it brings a good foot or so into areas of LaPorte County getting out into St. Joseph County, Stark County, you get it as well. Porter County kind of divided, where again, you don't have much in the western half of the county, but more as you head east. And Lake County, I think you've gotten a bulk of your snow already, but you'll still have some snow shower activity. I don't see any big squalls the rest of the evening, though, as that will continue to back off. But treacherous travel is very likely as you head further out towards the east. LaPorte County, we've got eyes on you this evening. Stark County, you as well. We'll keep an eye on Porter County to see if that main band can get back there. But that band is going to be putting down some snow two, three inches per hour. If it sits there for a couple hours, you've got a foot just like that. That's the one we'll keep our eye on as we go throughout the rest of the evening. All right, we've got another update coming your way late afternoon on the lake effect. Otherwise, stay tuned to Region Weather. We'll keep you updated as we go throughout.